If your brake lever feels spongy or soft, there's a good possibility that air ended up in your brake system and will need to be flushed out. To do this yourself, you'll need a brake bleeding kit, three, four, and five millimeter hex wrenches, a T15 Torx wrench or bit, needle nose pliers, some rags, and rubbing alcohol for cleanup. You may also want a flathead screwdriver if your caliper uses a cotter pin. Start by turning your handlebars and loosening the brake lever perch so the brake fluid reservoir can be leveled with the ground. Remove the caliper, then remove the retaining pin. If your caliper uses a bolt, remove it with a 3mm hex key. If your caliper uses a cotter pin, straighten the end out with a flathead screwdriver and needle nose pliers. Remove the cotter pin, then slide out the brake pads and set them aside. Install the brake caliper wedge, then secure the caliper in a way that keeps the bleed port facing up. Start the brake bleed by connecting hoses to the syringes, then filling one syringe with around 20 millimeters of mineral oil. You'll notice I used the short hose for this demonstration, but switch to the longer hose for the caliper side of the brake bleeding process. It's down to personal preference. Unscrew the caliper bleed screw with a T15 Torx bit, then connect your syringe full of fluid and allow the air to rise up to the top of the syringe. Remove the reservoir bleed screw and o-ring and connect an empty syringe. Make sure the caliper line is free of air. Hold the syringe up and begin pushing fluid through the system. Watch the top syringe as it fills with fluid and look for any air bubbles. Once you've pushed all the fluid from the bottom, make sure the top syringe is clear of any bubbles and push the fluid back through the other direction. Once again, clear any air bubbles and push fluid through the line from the bottom one more time. Hold the caliper with a rag and remove the line, then reinstall the bleed screw keeping the hole pointed up to avoid letting air into the system. Now remove the line from the reservoir. Test the brakes to make sure the sponginess is gone. Then reinstall the bleed port screw and snug it down at a lower torque. Take alcohol and a rag and clean any excess mineral oil off the brake components. Reinstall the brake pads and the retaining pin, then reinstall the brake caliper, following the alignment procedure in our other video.